How do we find inspiration for trade discovery? How do we acquire the discipline for risk control? And how do we cope with failure? And how do we cope with success? Those are central questions to anyone who wants to keep doing trading, make a living at it, uh, contribute to their, to their money with it. Let's start with how do we find trade opportunities? The first pillar of, of uh, the, the technical trader. There are two obvious possibilities. One is to look widely amongst lots of markets. The good thing about that is that you see you're looking for lots of very obvious trading patterns. And unless you see them, you move on to the next market. The downside of that is every market has its own quirks and characteristics. So some patterns don't work in one market, and they will in another. So it's actually very difficult to look across a whole array of markets with, with, with real insight. Very difficult to achieve because, as I say, not only do markets um, have characters, different patterns that characterize turning points and so on, but also different timescales within the same market will have different patterns that work and don't work. So it, it's an apparently attractive notion of doing what, looking at 30 markets every day to find out really obvious trading situations. It's much more difficult than you might think. That's even true of shares that shares have different characteristics, what, work, what works with them in terms of liquidity, a whole heap of things, and so it's not so easy even to do, but it, it works better with shares, a whole array of shares, but nonetheless the same issues remain. The other approach, it seems to me, to finding opportunities is to stick to one market, know it inside and out, and have the complete, develop the discipline of simply standing back when there's nothing there. Nothing more powerful, nothing more attractive than, or nothing more pleasing than a market that's doing nothing and you avoid the perils of boredom, the desire for excitement, and step back and do nothing. And doing nothing to a trader is very tough, very tough indeed, particularly if you're by yourself, you can't walk around, you can't talk to other people, you're not in a community, you can't share your boredom with somebody. The, uh, the, Desire to trade is very powerful, and if you can develop the technique of walking away, knowing a single market, walking away, and not dealing with it, then you can become very rich. Um, when I was a proprietary dealer, I think it's fair to say I was guilty of overtrading through boredom. That my best trading was when I had a, a, a job as running market making, uh, running a group of option market makers. I was managing their risks. And they would be, we'd be making money in the, by taking the bid off the spread, as market makers do. People hit your spread and pay you your spread. So there was a natural income. So a natural income was coming in, and I would be hedging them, l largely leaving them square at the end of the day. And only occasionally, when absolute, staggeringly obvious situations presented themselves, would I take very aggressive um, trading situations. But largely, we ran flat books. And that was really good for trading because I didn't get bored, I was totally involved all the time, but not through outright speculation.